for quarter number three. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. Out come the Colts. They'll have it first here to start quarter number three. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here at half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. And they'll go on the ground. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. The more football I watch, the more I want to check and see if teams are going to panic when they're down on the scoreboard. And this team has shown no signs of doing that. A lot of the time, they come out after the half. Things haven't worked so well in the first go-around. They want to throw the football like crazy. But the way to open up throwing the ball is to run it. And they've run it well here to start the second half. And on the ground they go with a running back. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. And he's back here in the struggle department in this one like he was a week ago. And, partner, I think you can pin some of this on that O-line, that room to run, just not, not there. You mentioned last week that it felt like the offensive line was getting beaten to the punch by the guys across the ball. It was pretty now. evident, I thought. I mean, they were off the ball fast, penetrating, getting into the offensive backfield, really spilling a lot of runs before they got started. So I thought your observation was spot on then, and you're, you're, you're right there again this week. Same thing is happening, not able to get started because they're not able to control the point of attack. And for the Falcons, five men in the secondary, now on third. They'll look to throw here. Now they set up the screen, that's complete. Look at the spin, balance. And he's got the first down yardage there as he takes it just across midfield. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Indianapolis. A big play there with his second touchdown of the game, number seven on the year. And the Colts able to get this back within a touchdown. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? You know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big-time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where'd you pull that one from? And, you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. <laughs> and you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading all the time. I like that you fit that into the broadcast. <laughs> you know, I just grab a nugget when I can. So the lead shaved to two now as the kickoff is away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. So we get set to start this third quarter. Here's the Falcons' offense now. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 12 yards on the pickup. And the Falcons are going to get a first. Didn't they tell us in our meetings that they needed to account for him on each and every play? You think? A guy of his caliber? So how does a guy like him get that wide open? That usually means there's a tire breakdown on what the coverage was. So everyone thought they were doing something, and they were supposed to be doing something else. But bottom line is, no matter what, you have to know where he is and cover him on every play. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. And here are the numbers, Charles, and you and I over at Nice Egg and Cheese Biscuit this morning at the hotel. We read that huge article in the paper about him wanting to flush last week. He's flushed it. Yeah, he let it go entirely. And, and the reason he's able to do that is because he's so strong mentally. Every time something goes wrong, he never attributes it to himself. He knows that he's better than that and knows a way to bounce back. And we've seen that talent just come to the front. And by the way, nice order on the egg and cheese biscuit. I was just a little embarrassed that you took the bacon off. No, 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 no. Was no. that doctor's orders? No, only, only reason. Time now, lucky 56, lucky 56. 
They'll give it to him right up the gut. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. I'm not sure they could have had a better call there for the defense. Blitz was called, and they're setting up for a draw. When you're blitzing, you're likely to beat them to the punch because they're going to take a little extra time to set up. Talk about the offensive line. In this case, you're getting to the backfield before they can get set up. Looking to throw. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. Nothing doing on that one, and it'll be fourth down. They tried to swing it out left into the flat, but the defense, they were very principled there. It felt very West Coast offense, didn't it? You know you know their expression, right? On a West Coast offense, when they throw the ball, it's either going to be a touchdown or a check down, meaning they like to press it downfield. If they don't have it, swing it out, which is exactly what we saw there. But how about the great pursuit and tackle to make a nice play? And the Colts offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. And they're hoping to capture some of that magic they had last time out when they were able to put together a scoring drive. But they're still down here, Jones. Not the major concern, though, because of what you talked about. They scored the last time out. They feel good about themselves. They feel like their game plan is now in effect. They know how to attack and what plays they want to put together. But they've got to keep it moving in the right direction because, as you did note, they are down on the scoreboard. They'll give it to him right up the gun. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. And they're going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. So the defense there, opportunistic. It's nice to give them credit, isn't it? Because so many times it's more a matter of what the offensive guy didn't do. Didn't secure the ball, didn't cover up. In this case, let's just give credit to where it belongs. Knocked it free, made a big play. They'll run it now out of the gun. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Nothing on that one. It'll be second down. So nothing there. I don't know that that's all in the back, though. you got to look at blocking there, don't you? I would agree with that totally. At some point, they have to win at the point of attack. Instead, it was the defense getting it done again and holding them to no gain. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And they'll get him down right about the 20. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. Well, good field position to start the drive, but under the gun now here on third and eight. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Can't find anyone open. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they've rallied and made the tackle. And his kick here is good. And that will push the lead up to five. So they recover the fumble but could not take advantage of the short field. They do get three. And no one ever turns down three points going up on the board. But the offense will go to the sidelines wondering what if, while the defense on the other side, they'll celebrate holding them to just a field goal after giving up such bad field position. This will be fielded at the six. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Return team. Automatic first down. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief there when they only gave up the field goal? And they were able to trot back out on the field and start this try with a little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown. But they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. The coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think coach will be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it back here and punch in the end zone without turning it over. Back to throw now on second and ten. And he slings one that's incomplete. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage looked defensively. So a third and ten, and defensively, a dime look. Six DBs. He'll look to throw. And he comes back with one complete. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. But it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. Yeah. 
46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. And we'll see what he can do on the return. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, try to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> <laughs> not one that I've ever met. They'll give it to him right up the gun. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. And on third down, the Colts have added an extra defensive back. Flooding the passing lanes. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And it's a right side here, complete. A good pick up there, 26 yards. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. They come out here in the eye. And they'll go with a ground attack here. Not much there. Maybe a couple as he's taken down at the 40. it down to about the 39. Just a one-yard pick up there, and it's going to make it third down at six. If they want a first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. He'll drop to throw. In my book, that's running the ball well, but with intelligence. How about him keeping the clock moving, staying in bounds? Yeah, even though it's the third quarter, you're thinking ahead, aren't you? This is where your running game can really help you with the lead in the second half. I agree totally. It's not just end-of-the-half situations that you worry about the clock. It's throughout the game, and with a lead, stay in bounds. Make them fight harder to try and catch you. And here comes play number six on this drive. They go play action here on first down. He's got time in the pocket. He's going to air one out. And this is caught for a Falcon touchdown. Their big body receiver, 29 yards. And the Falcons will extend their lead. And let's count them up now. One, two, three, four touchdown receptions for him in this game. And just one shot of the NFL record. What a great performance. Going up and catching the football, creating space, and finding the end zone. That's what it's all about. No going for two. They'll kick the point after. And this one gives his guys a 12-point lead. So this drive spans seven plays. And the Falcons score to cap it off. Now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is taken at the three. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up 
to about the 35-yard line. And heading back out there now, the Falcons defense here. They were able to force the three and out last time, led to the punt, and then led to a touchdown for their crew. So they'll be looking for a little bit more of that, Charles. Well, I think that they created the spark with the three and out. Gave a little momentum to their offense. It was like, all right, appreciate it, guys. And they took the ball downfield and stuck it in the end zone. And that defense wasn't out there long. They'll be trying to keep it short here. And he's got it up over the 40 to the 41. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. Oh, he did it again. That one goes for 24 yards. That was a beautifully executed screen pass. Let the rushers get upfield. The blocking forms in front. Lofted it to the runner. And now, not only does he have open space in front of him, he's got an escort as well, and they pick up big yardage. And now a first down following that long game. They'll give it to him right up the gut. And he'll get a little over two, maybe a full three down to the 32-yard line. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Colts, so they've got the football, but they've got work to do trailing here as we begin the fourth quarter. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. That catch good for five, it's third down. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential. But when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now. He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. Looks like a nickel set here defensively on third and two. Yeah, maybe expecting a throw. Now back to throw. And he will find his man on the end route, complete. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. in the red zone this time. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. A gain of six there on first. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. And they'll run it here. Spinning past him. And he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. A great play there with his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Colts have got it back to a one-score game. Well, let the natural light of today reflect that he has now gotten into the end zone two times. Look at you. Your little uh, Ralph Waldo Emerson, is that his name? No, I was just going with the meteorologist. Said it was a day game. I'm here. Point after try, forthcoming. And this is back to a five-point game. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it culminates in an Indianapolis touchdown.
A five-point game now as here comes the kickoff. This is taken at the three. And he'll get it up just past the 20, and his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. And here now come the Falcons. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take, puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get across the 20, but only to about the 22-yard line. They'll get four on second down, but it leaves him with third and still nine to go. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. And defensively, it's a nickel formation here on third down and nine. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. He's got time. Pressure from behind gonna be thrown down and now that brings up fourth down there a loss of six yards on the sack boy he came in off the edge so quickly there look out because that's exactly what it was being shouted by the offensive lineman to his quarterback because he had no chance to block him The Falcons send out their punter as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Averaging 50 yards of boot so far as this one's away. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt, and the offense will come back onto the field for the first and 10. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. Last time they were out, they scored. Still trailing here, though, so some work to do. But it's okay in terms of mindset. Because they scored the last time, they're not quite as worried about being down on the scoreboard because now their confidence is a little bit higher. They feel like they've got something going, and they feel like they can attack again and put more points on the board. Are you scoreboard watching if you're the offense, or are you just focused on this drive? It, it, we wouldn't be telling the truth if we said that they didn't scoreboard watch. Everyone does it to some extent, but you've got to set it aside right now and just focus on this series. That'll take care of the scoreboard if they punch it into the end zone. First down, he'll drop to throw. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. They'll give him eight on the play, and it's a second down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end. But running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. So they complete the pass, and now they face a second down. Now a handoff here to his running back. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. He's fumbled already once, Charles. I'm not going to say that that was in his mind there, but I'm sure that during some of these plays, he is mindful of it. And once you fumble the ball, you know what your team tells you and your coaching staff? Take care of it. Rest of the game. And it does get in your mind a little bit. Sometimes that slows the blitz coming and down he goes. And that'll bring up fourth down on a big sack with a loss of five. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Sack. Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> The Colts send out their punter. He's been terrific so far.
And he gets it away. A directional kick going toward the sideline. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. He got 29 yards that time. And we continue to see another example here of offenses just going for it. And this game has really turned into a receiver's dream and a defender's nightmare because no one's being stopped throwing the ball downfield and points are going on the board. Fresh set of downs here. Now a play fake here on first down. And he finds a man with a crossing route. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. And on that last play there, he's over 400 yards passing now. You know what that generally means? Success. <laughs> that, and it means you really didn't miss opportunities. Usually very accurate. The ball's getting to the right place. Guys are making yardage after the catch to help you out that way. I mean, the whole team has picked it up. And don't forget, that means the offensive line has had to pass protect pretty well, too. Yeah, everyone dialed in. They'll look to throw here on first down. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. And the next snap coming inside the red zone here. They come out with one back and three tight ends. And they'll go on the ground. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up in the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. But this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stuffed them for almost no gain. And his kick is good. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. So, Charles, I think from a defensive perspective, you have to look at that field goal there and consider it a win. You were able to keep them within a touchdown, so no question about it. That was the kind of stand that keeps you in ball games. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This fielded at the two. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Now the Colts offense gets ready to head back on the field. And they'll be looking to avoid what happened last time, which is punting the football. But when you look at how teams play the game, that complimentary football comes into play. How do I take care of my defense? How do I take care of my offense? Well, the defense is taking care of them in a lot of ways. Now it's time for the offense to jump things up and help their defense out, give them a little bit of rest. Yeah, time, time for them to give them a rest. Took the words right out of my mouth. And that'll be incomplete. Whenever they're trying to attack a zone defense, you're trying to figure out where your gaps are going to be. And depending on what type of zone they're playing, it could be on the outside, it could be in the middle, it could be in the seams, in the edges. In this case, they tried to attack the middle of the field, but this zone defense didn't allow it because they were able to see the ball come off the quarterback's hands, and everyone was able to react to the football and knock it away. Ball start offense. the shotgun he'll look to throw and this time he's got the hook up it's complete and he's able to get out to the 32 right down there 
That throw has to be a quarterback's dream, doesn't it? Big tight end curling in the middle of the field. So it's great sight lines for him. And when they show their numbers back to the quarterback, when they sit down right there, that should be pitch and catch. Losing four yards that time, and now it's fourth down. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before lost yardage. Terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for lost yardage. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. This is taken at about the 14. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way. That doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. On the exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. Not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. They'll get nothing out of that one, and it's going to lead to a third down. So they go out of the gun, try to delay it on the draw, but nothing there. Yeah, good play by the defense there. They sniffed it out and made sure there were no gaps for him to run. If you're the offense, though, you have to think to yourself, maybe I go play action down the road. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. The Falcons send out their punter as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. Fielded at the 20. Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before and realize it hasn't worked <laughs> go to so something well. else. And maybe try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. The offense certainly looking to score some points, but they also need ball security here late as we get down to the final moments of this one. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. It'll go as a loss of about six, and now it brings up third. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now it's a quarterback third and long. You really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. Getting late in the fourth now, Charles. Two-minute warning just around the corner. Yeah, some teams just want to get to that spot, take a breath, and then come out and attack for the rest of the game. So the Colts in possession of the football as we get you reset. They face a critical third down now, needing a score here in the late going. And the defense lines up looking for one final stop. And they will be playing for the pass in this situation, not expecting any type of a run. Out of the gun now on third down. He's got his man on the crossing route. A pickup of 24 on the third down conversion. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Back to throw. And a quick throw here. That's complete. The completion good for three, and it's second down. Second down now after the pass completion. They'll look to throw. 
Looking middle, and that's complete. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. He's back to throw. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Back to throw. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. And some secondary help here for the defense of the nickel on third and long. He'll look to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. Well, they needed the touchdown and the two-point conversion, but they're not going to get a shot at either. This is a great play here defensively, Brandon, and at a time that they sorely needed one. And that could be enough to help get them out of here with a victory. Now the Falcons offense, they get ready to head back out here. They have the lead, still a one-possession game, but the defense got the stop. They've got the football now, just salted away, right? Exactly. That's all the defense is counting on from their offense. They did their job in a big way. You know they're over on the sidelines now starting to take their tape off, and, hey, we've done this thing. The offense has to put it away, and that means... And another timeout taken by the Colts. That'll be their second, so one more chance to stop the clock here. And we'll be back. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll get this up to about the 38-yard line. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. Third and five, so they bring in an extra defensive back. And expecting pass. The Falcons in victory formation as they take an knee. The Falcons send out their punter as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. So for the Falcons, they climb back to 500 now at three up and three down. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Meanwhile, for the Colts, the loss will drop them to four and two on the year. And they'll try to make amends next week as they host the Cleveland Browns. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. It's a win for the Falcons here as we say so long from Atlanta.